Hey, welcome back to my channel, Unique World. And if you are new, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All right, we're going to get started with putting a little glitter inside the epoxy, which I've already prepped and mixed. With this tutorial, I'm going to try to give you guys like a real time type video tutorial. Um, normally, I usually speed up the process, um, but with this one, I'm just going to kind of take it slow so that um, you guys can see how I do everything in real time. Now I'm just stirring the glitter inside the epoxy just to make sure that all the glitter is spread it throughout the resin. Now that my epoxy and glitter is mixed evenly, I'm going to go ahead and get my alcohol ink ready. Choose your fighter. With the red alcohol ink, I'm going to go ahead and place a small amount um, on top of the silicone mold um i was a little nervous at first um using the alcohol ink because i didn't want the colors to like mix together to form like a new color like um purple and orange or brown um so i'm using multiple colors right here and I'm just trying to make sure that they aren't touching at first. And then um, that's when I'm going to go ahead and put the epoxy on top of the alcohol ink. And I don't have a measurement of amount of how much I use. But definitely you can use more um, color. Um, then I use, I just wanted to have like a little tint of color, but you can definitely darken it up by using more alcohol ink. And as you can see, I knew that it was a little bit too light. So I went ahead and just add a little bit more alcohol ink to the um, silicon tray. Honestly, there's no right or wrong way of creating these types of ashtrays. The most important part is just making sure that your epoxy is mixed correctly. Because if not, then, you know, it's not going to turn out right and it'll be sticky and tacky. Um, so definitely make sure that your epoxy is mixed correctly please make sure that you know you wear your gloves because um, it is chemical based so um, it has harmful chemicals to it so just make sure that you're in a ventilated area and um, just make sure that you you know stay safe while using epoxy
Now I'm just going to get my heating gun and I'm just going to use it on top of the resin. It helps to, um, you know, get the bubbles out of the resin, but it also helps with the alcohol ink pushing it in the direction that you want the ink to go. So I definitely um, use it to, you know, move the alcohol ink around in the ashtray. Now I'm just going to top it off with more resin and I'm just going to make sure that the tray is fully filled. Now I'm just going to work on the next tray and I am adding some black glitter to the resin and i also have like these like kind of like butterfly um glitter as well that i'm just gonna add to the resin to bring a little color to um this particular ashtray now i'm just mixing the glitter and the epoxy together if you notice the square ashtray, you see that the red, green, and yellow has kind of like spread it on its own as the epoxy is like settling into the tray. So it definitely like looks different from you adding the alcohol ink to it. So it's definitely going to look different. So it just depends on how you like it. And so now I'm just going to add some black and purple um, alcohol ink to this silicone mold. Now I'm just going to pour the epoxy on top of the alcohol ink. Choose your fighter. Lightning inspired. Fight. Fight. I'm going to go ahead and get my heating gun and I'm going to make sure that there's no bubbles in the resin.
fighter. Lightning inspired. Fight. Now that it is the next day, I'm going to just go ahead and remove the silicone mold. I definitely love how this turns out. It has just the right amount of alcohol ink that I like and also enough glitter to where it's just not too overwhelming. Knockout. You win. Choose your fighter. Lightning inspired. Fight. Now it's time to place your decals on top of the ashtray. When placing your decals on the ashtray, you want to make sure that you press down firmly and make sure that everything is stuck onto your ashtray because you don't want your decals to be lifted up during when it's time to do your final epoxy. Fight. 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 Now I'm just placing the sticker paper onto the ashtray. This sticker paper is um, something that I bought off of Amazon and um, I basically just um, found the design on Google and then I just um, printed the image out on the sticker paper. Now you're just going to pour a little bit of epoxy to give it a thin layer on top of your image. Just make sure that you move the ashtray around to cover the image fully. Choose 
your fighter. Lady Inspired. Fight. Fight. Now you're just going to let it dry and you're done. Thank you so much for watching my video and I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have not already done so, go ahead and like and comment on the video down below. And as well as if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so that you do not miss another DIY video from me, Unique World. Until next time, peace.